Hello, my name is Lou Valeris, project executive for LNR Structure out of Miami, Florida. We are currently here at the Tiffany House in beautiful Fort Lauderdale Beach. The Tiffany House is a 12-story condominium with an amenities deck on the fourth level and an amenities deck on the eighth level. It also has retail on the ground level. LNR has used all types of uh, different shoring systems. Uh, really, it, it's determined by the building and the job site conditions that we have. Um, we've used uh, table truss systems, we've used uh, column hung systems, uh, we've used uh, stick framing, scaffold framing. Uh, basically, it's determined by the, the job sites and the conditions that surround it. Hi, my name is Raul Ramirez. I'm the project manager for Baker Concrete Construction here at 121 Marina in um, Ocean Reef, Key Largo, Florida. This is a, uh, a private community. We have approximately 200,000 square feet of elevated slab. Those 200,000 square feet are split into five different buildings and we have four elevated slabs per building. Some of our challenges have been that we are so separated from Miami, Florida. Therefore, one of our challenges is that trying to get manpower here onto the job site. The reason we decided to go with a different system than we were normally accustomed to was the conditions on this job site. Uh, the locations of the cranes and their capacities did not allow us to, to use the, the truss tables that we wanted to use. Uh, so the, that was a, a large determining factor. When we looked at uh, Griflex, we saw that it had a possibility. Uh, it had some very good options, which it was simple, it was light, it was able to be uh, moved by manpower rather than using the crane. So we, we chose the, the grid flex system for those reasons. When they told me that they were going to use the system that we are using right now, it was something new for me. I was anxious to learn a new system, and I think it's a very good system, very fast, very fast. Me gusta porque se mira la producción, se mira el trabajo, se mira limpio. No necesitamos uh, demasiado material para hacer un piso. Well, at, at the beginning, like in a, any system that, that you start using that's new, there's a, there's a learning curve. Uh, we, we started with 12 men working the grid flex system, and after a couple of floors, we reduced that by 50%. We went to six men. Um, we're currently getting somewhere around 100 square feet per man hour uh, on 16,500 square feet on a typical deck um, and we're, we're very happy with the, with the system. Initial thoughts when I first heard we were going to use a grid flex system here at 120 Marina, I got very excited because I saw a video of how fast the system was going to go. This building doesn't, ha doesn't have a rectangular straight shape, it tends to step out, the balcony step out a lot, therefore we came up on a couple challenges where we had to use some loose frame scaffold and we have been able to make it work. We, can, uh, we were able to bring in the, the loose frame scaffold ahead of time and prepare it. And as soon as we had the grid flex ready, strip and place. But it's worked out. We've been able to combine both systems and make it work. And it's, uh, it's, it's been smooth. It's been a smooth transition. In comparing the grid flex system to the loose frame scaffold, two of the things that stand out to me, for which I would, I would prefer to use the grid flex over the loose frame, is the safety, how safe my guys can put up the system and how well they can organize it and move it over to the next building. Therefore, I, I'm comfortable that I will be using the Gridflex system again for those two main reasons. What we like about the uh, Perry Gridflex system is that it's light, it's simple, um, it's safe, and it's a very clean product.